Greetings, fellow Valandians. Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So just to recap what happened last episode, we settled our debts in the west and rode east. In riding east, we have now recaptured a sizable amount of what we've lost, and I'm not done because I am so tired of Kuzate. So I'm going to be chasing Anidha's army. Uh, they're heading to Hulsen Folk, so I know exactly where they're headed. They're probably going to run into Branok eventually. And Branok's army is larger than theirs, so will act as a natural buffer. But we're definitely going to go into a bit of a chase mode. While riding south, I want to analyze the rest of the battlefield. So I would say Varvanovapol and Sibir. Oh, we definitely just captured something. Yep, Serenea has fallen. Awesome. Good job, Branek. I absolutely love when... Ooh, and I have two armies down here? Hello. I absolutely love when my vassals actually pull weight. Nothing brings me more joy than not having to fight everything myself, because that gets tiresome. Oh, little recruits want to join me. Sure. All right. Well, I'm not sure where that army went. What were they names? An Anidha? I can always just search in the encyclopedia for them. Lakana Castle going to Luchin. Cool. Finally a sort of distant family member getting awarded something. Works for me. Forest cl People Clan has been destroyed. Shemir of the Forest People died of old age. That whole mercenary band is gone. Wow. All right, Nidha, you were last seen at Serenea, so I guess you just kept going south. Ah, oh, there they are. I found you. Thank you, Andros. This is not going to end well for them. Not even a little bit. Soldiers! Dagos! Okay. So the ratio is like three to one, four to one. There is a natural river between us. Uh, I would like to get my archers Archer! maybe here if possible. But I do see that they're they're pushing up. I'm gonna try to repel these cavalry. Repelling them myself. Also, I have everybody else on follow order. So it's not that hard. I'm being followed by everybody. Yep. Keep riding at me. It's not gonna end well for you. All right, uh, so the footmen! archers are set up. Now, footmen, form a shield wall. No! No! Footmen! Move! Their cavalry is in the heart of their... Okay. Horsemen! Yep, horsemen over here. Here's their cavalry again. Alright, so I have everyone kind of laid out how I want them. They're coming to me, which is great. No, they're... They were psyched out. I don't blame them. Because, I mean, just look at these arrows. Oh, well, some of them are incoming. Oh, poor Calvary. This is not the way. Oh, yeah. 
Well, they've just shredded themselves. Like half of the cavalry died in one one charge. So good job there. Oh, here's more. Fighters, hear me! I'm not sure where they're going. Well, I, I am pretty sure. They're going either to an early grave or to be my prisoner. Whoa, but that's a lot of archers staring at me. Alright, now let's do the push. You there. Wow, I just can't seem to hit this guy. There we go. Ooh, and decked terribly. Alright, if you look at the kill feed, it's all me, baby. They are just getting smoked. This is a massacre, not a fight. I even saw a looter get a kill up in the if, up in the feed. If looters are getting kills, you know you're done wrong. Soldiers on horses, mounted All right, calling everyone back because I don't want to cross the river. I don't need to. They'll come to me. Because they're not smart. Oh, all right. Oh. Ah, that Lancer tried and missed and missed. All right. Put them down, tip them head. Footman! Footman! Engage! Enjoy, Footman. Horsemen, mounted archers. Telling everyone to full court push. Oh, there goes the vassal. Uh, there goes maybe another one. I was wondering who had metal shields, now I know. Where are you going? Listen to that roar. Whoa, hey there. You want some? I'll fight you. Well, what's left of you? At this point, uh, they're nothing but a small band of random archers that haven't fled yet. Not to say I should be back here, because... Yeah. That's why I don't mess with infantry. But let me fast forward time. I let my troops clean them up. Because it is not a balanced fight. Of course, the moment I go down, our tactics go to hell, and... The ratio's still okay up in the top right, but it's not as good as it thought it could be, right? Because in the first half, we really were... they were pretty done for. Uh, Analith, I don't think that's one of ours. I think that's one of theirs. It's not a name I recognize, but let's double check. Yeah, it's one of theirs. Another Kuzadi dead. Andros, you are most welcome for the backup. You. I'm a prisoner. Kintin beg. You're also my prisoner. I'm just checking to see if they're going to be easily recruitable. None of them were going to be. All right, let's uh, just take all and then reverse remove the low levels because I think that will be faster. There's not a whole lot of low levels, actually. I'm, I'm sort of surprised. It's mostly a high tier army that they well I guess these are the survivors right so these are the ones that did not die stands to reason that they'd be a little stronger all right 
Is that enough? Nope. Still need to lose some more. Okay. There. That should be fine. Done. And that's one less army lurking around. I'm immediately going to uh, ransom off my prisoners. I'm sort of curious. All right. Because I don't own Serenea. No, I do own Serenea. Um... Because we just recently captured it. So I'm sure Damien and Trustin probably did their same old, let's drop all our troops in there. But maybe not, because it looks like their armies are pretty well supplied, so I could be wrong. Poor Ovagos being a... Uh... Caravan. Oh, well, it's Valandian Caravan Guard, but no thanks. Now, I do believe that everyone ended up getting their knight's shield. So I don't think I need to buy any more of those. But let's see about anything else. Stack bodkins, okay. No, we're good there. It's good money. It's pretty good money. And yeah, I just noticed that Damien and, uh, and Trustin's, uh, yeah, they just definitely donated. I really hate that. Like, please don't. Pretty, pretty, please, just don't. Oops. Because the issue is, if I send them out with the number that they have, they basically donate all but what they need to be able to be conscripted back into the army. So the issue with that, if you're wondering why I hate it so much, I mean, it should be obvious, but if it isn't, uh, it's because if I send them out to go tie down some enemies, you know, sort of like sick them on enemies, and they take any losses, literally just one troop, all of a sudden they're no longer eligible to be uh, drafted back into my army, and I lose control of them. It's really, really annoying. It looks like Emprella, Emprella, sorry, is uh, under siege, so I'm going to go north. Uh, taking a quick look, almost all of my vassal armies are in the south, so my guess is I'm going to be most needed up north. It's an assumption, sure, but uh, M, let's take a look at you. We're going to give you Sagittarius for more mounted archery. I better keep my cohesion up. I've been known to let it drop. All right, Emprella, I'm on my way. You hold out, please. It's interesting how little uh, siege defense I ever, ever, ever do. But this map is looking increasingly green. I got no, no problem with that. Quite happy about that, in fact. Serenaire will go to Peric, I guess. Whoa, Peric, you own a lot of stuff, dude. It's going to go to Baranor. Because Baranor only owns two things. And this is exactly the reason why I feel the need to add some additional vassals to my number. All right, Easter. Yeah, you better break. Oh, you took it. I have very bad news for you. You're not going to hold on to it. I don't know where he's headed. Uh, Balticond. So you're heading. Wow, you're heading way over there. Okay. No, I did get a hot tip from Andy in the YouTube comments that uh, using my trebuchets in battle will raise my engineering skill higher. And personally, using uh, siege equipment will do the same. 
So I'm going to see about that. So if I take a look at my engineering, I'm at 106. Let's see if I can't uh, kick that up a bit. See if that those those tips are useful. Now this is not going to be much of a fight because they we outnumber them 20 to 1, just about. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be able to, to, you know, level up some skills. All right. So first things first, let's switch gear. Feel like a transformer every time I do this. It's like Sarlin tank mode, roll out. Uh, yeah, maybe not quite that epic, as I'm literally just changing weapons. But hey, a queen can dream. All right, Umbrella. I Umbrella is building siege equipment ridiculously fast considering they've got only 100 people. I'm actually impressed. But that's, I think, because of the level. It's more about the level of the siege, uh, whatever it's called, the siege workshop, and less about the population. So if I could take down the two re remaining ballista, I would happily besiege. Except for my trebuchets are just... Um, Firing blind drunk or something. I don't know. There we go. All right, so let's take another look at my engineering. It's still 106. I'm at uh, 6420 experience. Almost at 107. So, Andy, I'll put your tip to the test. You've provided me a lot of good tips in the past that all have panned out, so I have no reason not to believe you. Uh, so he's saying, deploy all siege equipment in these battles for the most amount of engineering experience. And then, personally, take part in the siege. Like, for instance, pushing a battering ramp. It's a very different role for Sarlin, but uh, hey, I can leave from the back. I feel like I'm going to be battering my own troops, but... That guy in the front, right? Would not want to be him. Basically unarmored. In the front. Pushing a battering ram. You're going to have a bad time, I think. Now the thing is, I don't exactly want to go battering... Like, I, I'd rather take a Siege Tower. I think I'm more effective through a Siege Tower anyway. But I'll push this for science. Or in this case, for engineering. Look at all of them. It's actually pretty cool looking. Oh, wow. They have no one. We might actually kill their entire castle before they even deploy. They only have 35 people. Thirty-two. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking pretty grim for them. Someone's dropping boulders, or maybe that was my own trebuchets. Slam! This is pretty... It's, it's still pretty cool. I don't like going through the front gates because you get often boulders dropped on your head, and that sucks. But it is, it feels a lot more immersive breaking through a castle this way. And the ones who are at this point, I gotta be careful about stuff landing on my head. 
I've always found it a little weird that at this point it's just uh, slash the gate. There's really no other way through but to bash the gate just a whole lot. Or to have someone on the other side open it for you. And that was the case in my case. Wow, this guy has a lot of hit points. I like how the gate opened and then closed. I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Now it's a full flood. Did he just scream, save us? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right, we'll see if this has helped my, I don't have a point of reference though, of what my normal engineering game per fight is versus this fight. But I'll get some sort of reference point now, having participated as much as one can in the siege. And that's it. Six dead for an entire town. Not a bad cost. All right, so if we take a look at my engineering skill, I've gained nothing. Well, okay. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe the batter ram isn't proper siege equipment. I, I can always switch it up. Um, but yeah, that's a good uh, reference point, I suppose. Uh, let's see if there's anything I want to buy from them. I mean, likely not, right? Not like, likely not. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to spring for a quarter million noble bow for just one of my vassals. No offense to you vassals. Uh, step war bows though. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll pay for that. M, you've already got one. Ah, uh, here we go. Step war bow for Silas. Silas, you're going to be rigged for war. Doing a quick check. Everybody has a knight shield except for me, because, of course, I usually use the two-hander. And, and then, as far as armor goes, uh, there's no types of armor here. We're, we're kind of going Batanian armor, mostly, because uh, it's the toughest. Maybe it's not the toughest, but it's the toughest I've found. The high warlord stuff. All right, I dare not go back... Oh, trust in Damien, you did it again. You sly dogs. <sighs> Troops to settlement. Okay, so... Tavern district. Prisoners to ransom. Get rid of all the non-Volandians. And then go to keep. Minage garrison. And this nonsense again. Where I have to... prevent them from ditching half the troops to a garrison that I do not care about because I will not own. I mean, that's sort of what it comes down to is like, I'm obviously not going to own Amprella. Um, it's A, not Volandian, so I wouldn't really want it anyway. And B, uh, I have a lot of holdings, so I'm not even really high up on the list of, of people that would gain stuff. Okay, so I think we're all set. Yep. Stop giving up your troops. Oh, Nifon, why didn't you just pick that fight? So he's defending Sibir. This must be Batania uh, attacking the north here. All right, I'm gonna try to get Espinosa Castle. It looks like Branock and Tynops are going hard in the south. And, uh, whoa, my cohesion is very, very low. 
Uh, since when are we at war with, uh, Azurai? That happened... Well, let's see. Azurai declares war on Seralandia, summer 13. It is summer 14, so yesterday they declared war. I didn't even notice. I got you. Yeah, attack, attack my vassal. That's a brilliant idea. All right. Shalar of the Benai, or whatever your name is, prepare for the most vicious death you've ever experienced. Juice! Have at him! 950 to 50. That's the ratio. I'm not even, I'm just full rush. You don't attack my vassals with a me nearby. It's a dumb idea. And they will pay for their stupidity in the only way Sarah Lynn knows how. With extreme prejudice. Too bad I couldn't find the vassal himself, the Shalar guy, but I'm sure he's getting pummeled right now. I mean, everyone is. Oh, maybe this is you? Oh my god, it's hard to... Well, I think, yep, that was him. I just saw on the kill feed that he got knocked out. Nifon owes me one, is all I'm going to say. He wasn't certain to win that fight, and then I rolled up in my steamroller. And it's, that's all that's left. At this point, they can't even exit their spawn point. I am, well, spawn camping. And there's seven, okay. That's it. You're welcome. That should have been a lot more relationship increase right there. It bothers me that it wasn't. And he got taken prisoner by one of my vassals, so that's fine. Yeah, don't... Don't play at war, Kuzate. You aren't warriors. You're horse lords. And horse lords don't win wars. I do. Yanshui levels up, finally. Oh boy. Uh, your very first bow skill. Let's give you more bow control for better accuracy. Here's Easter's army. I don't... Which way are they going? West. I'd like to stop them. They're the ones that took Emprella, and they're besieging it again, so I think not. Yeah. I think not. Come on, Nifon, wrap, wrap them up. They're riding themselves into the sea here. And Nifon, do your... Yes, thank you, Nifon, again. See? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. If I hadn't saved Nifon there, uh, this Easter army would have gotten away. Or at least I would have had to sacrifice some of my own troops, like uh, 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 oh, Trustin or Damien's troops, in order to, to get them. All right, so they always like to do this, like, out. This false rush nonsense with their archers, and I want to make them pay for it. So I told my cavalry to charge when they did that far false rush nonsense. Uh, this is, like, a nice dip in the ground where I can put my shield wall infantry. This is gonna get messy. Stand up 
Okay. Could put riders over here. Oh, do it again, huh? Shall you learn nothing? There goes Easter himself. Slain by thine blade. Yep. Alright, resetting the horseman. I'll just keep my horseman ready to charge every time they do one of those... Uh, no! bow false charge things. Horsebowman! Our horsebowman. You can be right here. Moving! Infantry! And infantry right here. Oh, look at this stupid horseman. It's probably a, uh, yep, Ruma. I was gonna say it's probably a vassal. Because sometimes vassals just think they're a Sarolin, but they're not. They're just sorry. I knocked him clear off his horse. He hit me pretty hard, though. Credit where credit is due. See all these uh, Lancers that are trying to chase me? May I introduce you to my little friend, Many Many Crossbows? That's their, you know, formal name. Oh, come on. Hey, you. You're trespassing. God, this is oddly difficult. There we go. Here, I'll just finish him with the bow. Or not. Getting a bit of tunnel vision here. There, he's done. Alright, doing a full charge with everybody, because I think we, at this point, outnumber them so dramatically. Yeah, we do. That it ought to be fine. You hit my horse in the neck. That was weird. I heard the connect noise of me hitting that enemy there, but no damage. Welcome. <laughs> oh, Gifford just got knocked out. I do find it uh, a little difficult to watch the feed to see what's going on and also to fight, but I try to do my best to know if my vassals and, and whatnot are uh, surviving. Oh, you were fleeing. I think at this point, most of them are going to flee. Nope. 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 <laughs> You've come to Nopeville, where your attacks will be denied because my attacks hit first. I do feel like I have a little bit of hit strike, or first strike going on. As long as I swing at the right time. My range out is better, so they really don't have a, much of a chance to get damage on me unless I'm not pay, ow, paying attention or I'm getting swiped by guys like this. Hey, you! 
Yeah, that's that's right, a rope line breaker. All right, I think that's it. Don't think there's many left. We have two standing. One. Zero. 37 dead. None of them anyone important to me. And that is yet another army smashed to bits. Nifon, you are again welcome. There we go, 19. That is a little bit more. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Easter Big, prisoner. I most certainly do not have space for all of them. This is going to take me a minute, but I'm just trying to uh, maximize my profit by taking only the highest level. They have a bunch of fives and, and six, or some sixes. They had some really high level guys, which makes for good money on the ransom market. All right, I'm... Uh, about 19 away from my max capacity. It's too bad there's no drop down of like take only level fours and then work your way up from there. Or only four pluses or something like that. All right, there, maxed out. That's not a bad sword. It's a level six, highest tier weapon. It's rusty, but I got three of them, so those will sell pretty well. Uh, Lacana Castle has been defended. Well, it, I guess they were trying to go for Umbrella. Now, Umbrella has... No, it doesn't have an owner yet. When's the Umbrella vote? 12 hours? Because I don't want to stop into Umbrella to ransom my troops until Umbrella's owned, or otherwise Damien and Trustin drop a bunch of troops into there. So I'll just sort of stand out here for the remainder of this vote. I could call it a vote. Oh, well, here it is. I could call it a vote early, but I didn't need to. Uh, Baronor, should you take this one again? Yeah, probably. Also, you've been going hard here on the east. I've watched you and your armies take territory, so you deserve a town. So now that he owns this town, not me, um, I won't donate to their garrison, which is kind of nice. Because that was getting old. I don't think I left any Valanians behind, but, uh, uh, you know, a free 12 or 13,000 for the effort of just picking out prisoners, 98 of them, um, it's a small price. I mean, it's not a ton of money in the big scheme of things, but every cent counts. All right, sorry, your new town is getting stripped for money, though, uh, Easter. Or, uh, not Easter. Easter is my prisoner. Um, Baranoi. Let's take a look at, so as far as I can tell, Azurai has not been really doing anything. And uh, we are raiding the heck out of them. No one supports peace yet, so I'll just keep pushing. I wouldn't want to uh, do a peace agreement anyway, while Tynops and Branok are besieging. Oh, and Thomond. wow, we are full court press. Oh, hello. I don't know what you're doing, but it's wrong. They keep sending, like, mid... You know, 500 or so troops to try to take Emprella, and then I just keep stamping them out. This guy... Oh, here's another one. It seems to be their strategy of sending... What I would consider just barely enough to get the job done number of, of troops, and then running away as soon as they get close to me. 
And there's Baranor himself. I'd like to get these guys in a bit of a vice. Baranor, if you could hustle. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, Baranor. This is why I gave you territory. Because now we crush. Wow, this is very interesting terrain. So we got a little bit of a river here, which is the Marchers! absolute Achilles heel. Get infantry! Move! Arms the here! absolute Achilles heel of cavalry. The sound of the hoof steps on this like terrain though is horrible I, i'm just gonna openly say that the like weird crunching noise is all i can describe it as it is definitely not asmr oh you tried to lance me that's just rude all right, I'm pulling my guys back to my side just to maximize the damage I do. Uh, that right there is a vassal, though. Sorry, pardon me, excuse me. All right, caution be damned. Oh, the ghost. Bye-bye. He escaped from my stocks. And now I've... swamped him pretty good. Let's see if I can't uh, headhunt other vassals. I don't see any others. Audio is just unwanted. I feel like Monty Python going clip clop, clip clop. Oh, you were. You're a vassal, I think. Yeah, they're chasing me. Oh, right over here. Ow, ow, double L. Hey, I have backup coming. Oh, this is just a Gazzetti horseman. Yeah, whoever, uh, Sound engineer, this battlefield used a bit too many coconuts, methinks. Stupid horse. Ow. So, this is why I don't mess with uh, infantry, because I've taken more damage fighting these infantry who are like low tier and not well geared than I ever did their cavalry who I shred just because the maneuverability of the uh, the horses are tough and the AI doesn't do it all that well so I'm definitely in my element when I'm murdering their uh, their calves and considering for my own troops it's harder to kill cavalry it is Everyone bonus, uh, you know, everyone benefits when I kill cavalry. Oh, come on. Why'd you cut me off? No, it's not done. Okay, it's done now. Well, we lost three people. <laughs> they lost 240. I, yeah, I'm okay with this. Farinor, you are welcome. And you 
Are you a... Yeah, okay, you are a, uh, you're a mercenary, so you're free to go. You're not actually my enemy, you're just being paid to do this. A pretty unique perspective, I think. Most people would have taken the prisoner, but hey. Not really my enemy. Okay, so that is yet another army splatted. At this point, uh, I am out of time. But I do think that the theater, the Eastern theater is going well. We have three concurrent sieges happening in the South and I am protecting the North from uh, losing territory. And we're gonna continue with this strategy next episode. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell.